most of you know by now, my name is Timothy Thrapp. I'm the spokesman for World Improvement through the Spirit Ministries. And we've been busy in the work of World Improvement for uh, a long time, basically, a lot longer than most people would believe. But uh, what we're focusing in on right now is the energy situation and getting clean energy out to the people. We're doing a fundraiser. Uh, we would like to, we are planning with this fundraiser to get enough funds to mass produce. It won't take a lot. If everybody does a little, we'll have enough funds to mass produce in a factory that'll put out quantum energy devices uh, that'll run your, run your home, basically. Uh, so everybody pray about it. After you see this video, pray about it and, and do as the Lord's leading you to do. If he leads you to give a dollar, give a dollar. If he leads you to give a thousand dollars, give a thousand dollars. Whatever it is, the Lord's leading you to do. And the Lord will speak to your heart. And what we have here is an older style quantum energy device. Uh, this particular style was developed uh, approximately uh, 20 years ago by our ministry. And uh, you'll see it working. Should I go through all the parts? Yeah, go ahead and uh, explain all the parts. Okay. Uh, basically, we we'll start over here at one end. And this is a variable transformer to control the speed on the motor, the drive motor. And this is the standard drive motor. It's not been altered. Uh, it draws 7.4 amps at 90 volts. That's what it's rated. And so that gives you an idea. You can do the computation see what the horsepower just on the motor, what it requires that motor to run uh, properly. And what's the little... Uh... This is a diode bridge. Okay. And over here we have a variable transformer, diode bridge, motor, a belt that turns the pulleys that goes to the, uh, the rotor of the main generator. Um, we can see it turning, and you can even see through the window. It's you see the rotor turning in there. Yeah. And you have the uh, the two main output coils. Two main, uh, not the output coils. They're the main uh, vibrating coils. We can call it that. Uh, and here's the capacitor bank here on the side. Um, it's been. Uh, shrunk down from the old capacitor bank. The old one we had was very, very durable, but it was very big, and people thought maybe there's batteries hidden in it or something. So we try to make this presentable where everybody can understand it, even the people that don't have much uh, background in quantum engineering. And so uh, a few of our volunteers did a beautiful job giving us a nice little capacitor bank here. And uh, here's the, some of the electronics. There's more electronics in this blue box back here. And that's where the switch is on top of that blue box, but there's other stuff inside of it. And also there's, there's electronics in this blue box. And again, the switch is on top of the blue box. And then here's the load. And the load is a bunch of light bulbs that you'll get to see lit up. And the cord uh, basically is set up where we can, we start it with regular power with this yellow cord here. And then we can, we can uh, unplug it once it's working and quickly turn it back to run itself and then light up the bulbs one at a time. This particular device, you have to take it up slowly and take it down slowly because of the way it's built. But they can be built to produce power immediately, large large surges and so on. This We originally had this one putting out 40 kW at one time, but today we'll demonstrate it at about 2 kW or 2, 2.1, 2.2, somewhere in that range. Okay, well let's go ahead and start it up. Okay. Starting it up, we'll plug it in. We make sure everything looks all right. There's nothing loose, nothing uh, messed up. And there as I can perceive, everything looks like it's, it's supposed to be. And
Okay, so basically uh, it is running itself now. Uh, yeah, let me make sure. It's, it's running a little faster, I think. I don't know if you can tell that. Uh, so the power must be a little bit different. But we keep it pretty close. That's supposed to be exactly, when I looked at it on the scope, it was exactly the same as what's coming out of uh, the wall uh, as far as 50 cycles and the right voltage. What happens is the power input changes so depending on the time of the day. The power comes from the power company. It changes in voltage. It actually goes up and down. Some days it'll be 150. Nope, I think that's good. I didn't hear any uh, slowdown of the motor. I heard a slight one. On the third bolt or the fourth or fifth bolt, we were playing back. It was, at least it sounded like it made. Uh, it wasn't a slowdown, it was actually a, uh, a mellowing out, a little smoother. It sounded a little smoother. If you play back the video, you can listen to it again. But, you know, I heard a slight one, maybe on the end. Okay, I'm going to uh, basically just uh, pan across the machine here. light bulbs burning. Yeah, we didn't turn on one, I guess. Oh, right. Oh, okay, now it's burned out there. Okay, now you got 15 light bulbs. Okay, so 1,500 watts there. 1,500 watts. And then you got the 70 amps, uh, 7.4 amps over here, and 90 volts roughly. Uh, so you can do the math, but probably around 2,100 watts, 2,200 watts, somewhere in there, 22,000 watts, somewhere in that range. And originally, I don't know if you want to show it, here is a self-running generator. Uh, it's basically providing over 2,000 watts. Uh, this will run indefinitely without fuel. Uh, well, like anything, it runs until the parts run out, wear out. When you say indefinitely, yeah, that's true. It is indefinitely, but indefinitely means basically until the parts wear out. So For instance, moving parts would yeah, wear out. Parts and solid state parts wear out. Uh, televisions go bad. Okay, so really the uh, um, the really special part of this uh, technology is the uh, 
the rotating generator in this machine and the uh, you might talk just a little bit about uh, uh, why that's special and what makes it that uh, uh, your ministry has been able to uh, uh, make such a, a small generator put out this amount of power. Uh, why it's special? Yeah, why it's special and what, what the technology is that's actually... A little bit about the technology? Okay, basically there's many types of subatomic particles and it's the way we... It's the way you make those particles and the way you establish them as to whether or not you get over unity. There's, there's over a hundred types of subatomic particles defined now and uh, everybody used to think that the only thing that flowed through wires was electrons. Well, that's not true. Nowadays, quantum physics realizes there's many types of subatomic particles. And depending on what those particles are, which ones you have, in which places, and which vibrations you have, in other words, frequencies in which places, and uh, what the power levels are, and how they're arranged with each other, and where the standing fields are, uh, that all has to do with how it works. If you get it right, well, basically, by different combinations of those things, you can do anything you can imagine, uh, including space travel and everything else, teleportation and all that. But uh, basically, the simplest, one of the simplest ones would make energy, and that's what we're focusing in on here. Okay, and uh, with this with this device, uh, that's a standard uh, variable transformer that you adjust the speed of the motor with. Yeah, that's a standard motor too. Standard motor, standard belt drive and a standard load of uh, regular incandescent light bulbs. So uh, the real uh, the real technology is is in the generator and how it's uh, how it's built and how it works. All right. Well, I guess uh, where would people find out about this? Well, we have a website uh, w i t t s ministries. That's right, or there's a shorter version, just wits.ws. Okay, there you go. W I with two T's or W I okay. W I T T S dot W S. And the W I T T S stands for World Improvement Through the Spirit. So if you can remember that, the scripture says as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the children of God. This whole ministry has been led by the Spirit of God since Michael Faraday started two hundred years ago. And uh cause. Uh, please make a donation. Uh, like I say, this is a fundraiser, so if we can raise uh, not much that we need, uh, if 300 people start tithing faithfully, or if maybe a few thousand people make a $10 donation or whatever, we'll have enough to build the factory and we'll start mass producing. As soon as we get to 300 tithers, we'll, we'll be mass producing within one year. That's the goals that are involved, and I do think they're realistic goals. Okay, well thank you very much. Uh, would you like to uh, uh, bring the machine down now and I'll uh, do some uh, close-up shots. Okay, I didn't think I was going to need a pair of gloves to bring it down properly. You want to unload it a little at a time. Uh, so let me grab a pair of gloves here. machine does not like surges, but it, it just basically, we had the right funding. We built 20 megawatt already, so, you know, it's, we demonstrated 20 megawatt. We built it really good.
very good. Okay. Now I'll just uh, I'll get some shots up close so we can see it up close. Yeah, that's probably my phone. All right, yeah. So that's uh, there's the uh, cord that he uh, plugged it in to start. And let me just take this off my hand so I can. Side of the machine. Oh, and we got plexiglass underneath it. I should have said that along the way, but basically the reason we put the plexiglass there is to try to give people a better view so they can see there's nothing hidden there. Uh, you know, it's uh, as best you can. Yeah, do the best you can. And I, I have examined this machine, and there are no hidden wires. Very good. That's right. so, I have too. I helped build it. There's no <laughs> <hidden> wires. <laughs> so. I mean, for what profit would we do all this if there was hidden wires? This is just crazy. None of the money goes to us. All of it's all of it goes to the projects. Uh, not one of us get paid a dime. Okay, let's. Uh... the inverter part of the circuit. Here. All right. Make sure that. All right, maybe I can even get a close-up of these bulbs. Sure. You can see they're 100 watt bulbs, all of them just out of the marking. Some of them are old, so they, and they've been transported a few times, so the marking flakes off. They get hot, and the, that paint that's for the markings doesn't always stay on there. See the capacitors, probably can see the rating on but uh, yeah, so you know, it's. Uh, if you like, we could, I don't know if you want to do it on camera now, but we could uh, also show the electrostatic effects. Uh, I'm not yeah, we had them before, the small electrostatic effects that show up nearby on insulators and so on. Right. Uh, it's up to you if, you if you want to see that or not. We did start it back up and take an 82 bulb and put it there. At the capacitors and so on. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm going to cut this now. Thank you very much.